Oh my gosh, what a hot, 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 hot day. Um, so I just finished filming a video on heat stress of plants and we're gonna talk about something else that happens when it gets real hot. And that's the peeling of the bark of the eucalyptus trees. Now in Australia, the eucalyptus trees can be divided into seven categories depending on how the bark sheds. Now I'm probably not gonna remember all of them, but I'll be able to show you a few types here. Now this one peels off in large strips. So this one can go into the class of strippy bark. You get another one which peels off in string and that one is called a stringy bark. We have another one that peels off in really nice uniform sort of circles, like little spots and we call that the spotted gum. We got this one right next to it here. This one never peels at all and we call that the iron bark. There's another one which peels, looks similar to this in the bark but it peels off chunks almost like the consistency of cork. And so we call that the cork bark. So spotty gum, strappy bark, ironwood, spotted gum, cork bark. And there's another one which peels off like flakes. So we call that one a flaky bark. And there's another one, but I'm forgetting it. So we're gonna leave that one out. Now, when we make things like coolamons or shovels or shields or canoes, we never, ever, ever take the bark during summertime because it will kill the tree. Never do that. It is, in a lot of different cultures, it is forbidden. What we can do is we can use this bark to make roofs, shelters, and that sort of thing. You can also use it to carry water and make little water carrying containers. And it also signals the time when apple berries are about to come into season and when pythons can be hunted. And what you do with this bark is you gather it all up and you put it underneath the appleberry vines. And then when the appleberry falls, it's a lot easier for you to see it and collect it. Now the reason the bark is peeling is because this is the hot, wet time. So the tree and all its cells have swelled with water and the heat is now expanding that water and peeling off that bark. If you are going to make a shield or a coolamon or a canoe, we always take the bark from the southern side, the side of the tree that faces the poles, never the side that faces the equator because the equator is where the sun is. So that's the side of the tree that has the most blood flow, the most sap flow. So if we take from that side, there's a higher likelihood that we'll kill the tree. So again, we avoid doing that. We only ever take the bark during the winter. That is the best time for taking the bark because it is the thickest, it is the strongest, and it will cause the least amount of harm to the tree. There is also further categories for the trees when they peel. So this strappy bark here, when it peels, you notice here the color is a bit of a beige color. Other trees will peel and have a bit more of an orange color or a bit more of a tan color. And you can divide them more like that. If the bark stays up in the tree, like it is here, that's another characteristic dividing feature. However, if the bark peels to the bottom, like in Eucalyptus oleades, we call that like a, uh, a stocking or a sock, and you get the black butt on the tree. A few years back, my father tried to ring bark this tree to kill it. Good thing he didn't succeed, because it gives me a lot of shade, especially on a day that's 47 degrees in the shade. Anyway, folks, I'm gonna leave that there, and I hope that's been informative. Oh, and another thing, check this out, okay. So, this little stump here, right, that is still peeling its bark. That stump is still alive. And it is still putting nutrients into the ground. It is still putting nutrients into the tree off to the side here. Because this one shot out from the base of this one over here. So even though the tree has been cut, it is still very much alive. But as I said, have yourselves a lovely day. Wherever you are in the world, enjoy life. Be good. Go, I don't know, hug a tree or something. Have fun. Bye.